Well, let's do part A. According to a timer on the tray, you're moving with a speed of 90 meter per second. Uh, speed 90 meter per second and cutting a distance equal to 900 meter cutting a distance equal to 900 meter well from the definition of the speed we can find the time it would take you to finish the race and so uh, we have time t is equal to distance divided by speed well d is equal to 900 meters divided by speed is 90 meter per second so this is not 7 this is 9 so 90 90 meter per second and therefore 900 divided by 90 is 10 seconds well, it would take you 10 seconds to finish the, uh, finish the race from the perspective of a timer on the track. Now, let's do part B. Well, but uh, according to your own clock, you would experience the time differently as you are moving with the speed it approaches uh, the speed of the light hence you experience the time going much slower the time you experience in the car is the proper time while the time the timer on the uh, on the track experiences is the relativistic time and we know that the proper time and the relativistic time are related by t is equal to gamma times t naught in this equation, t is the relativistic time, gamma is the Lorentz factor, and t naught is the proper time. Uh, let's find out gamma. Well, we know that gamma is equal to 1 divided by uh, square root of 1 minus v square divided by uh, c square. So it's v square divided by c square. And let us find out gamma. Gamma is equal to 1 divided by uh, square root of 1 minus, well, v is 90, therefore we have 90 square divided by c, and then we have 100 uh, square. Okay. And now, uh, simplifying this, gamma is equal to 2.29416416 right now let us find out uh, t naught uh, let us find out t naught well t naught is equal to t naught which is the proper time is equal to t divided by gamma so well, uh, t is 10 seconds, which is the proper time, divided by gamma is uh, 2.29416, and hence t naught is equal to 4.35889889 seconds. Now we do part C. Well, since the length of the track is 900 meter, which is a uh, rest length so l naught is equal to 900 meters the proper length uh, well since we are moving along this track then this track would experience uh, a length contraction and hence its length would be contracted to length l so let's say l is the contracted length L is the contracted contracted length, right? And we can find the contracted length by using L naught is equal to 
gamma times L, right? So L is equal to L naught divided by gamma. So uh, dividing the two numbers, L naught and gamma, we get uh, 392.3 meters. Point three meters. So uh, L, which is the contracted length, is equal to 392.3 uh, meters. Now let's do part D. Well, now we are going to do part D. Well, dividing uh, contracted length of the trade by the speed it took to finish the race from your perspective, uh, we get 392.3 divided by 4.35 double eight nine and this is equal to eighty nine point nine 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 right uh, the discrepancy uh, arises from uh, basically round off this the speed is uh, ninety meter per second which is the same speed measured by the stationary observer.